So welcome to short Sales classes today we are solving ISS 2021 paper 1 question paper in the first video I have solved from 1 to 5 in this I will solve from 6 so how large a sample must be taken in order that the probability will be at least 0.95 and the sample mean will be within 0.5 neighborhood of the population mean provided the population standard deviation is 1 very interesting question so here we need to find out n and sigma uh, sorry sigma and n equal to 1 so how large the sample so using Chebyshev's inequality we can proceed p xn minus mu epsilon and that is greater than or equal to 1 minus sigma square n epsilon square. Okay. Now with respect to the question P mod of xn minus mu less than 0 0.5. This thing is greater than or equal to 0 0.95. So now two equations we have. Second one is this and the first one is this. So if we compare these two equations. So this will give you epsilon equal to 0 0.5 and 1 minus sigma square a and epsilon square is 0 0.95 so as sigma square equal to 1 so 1 minus 4 by n equal to 0 0.95 and n will give you 80 so the answer is a well, smoothly done next let a1 a2 a3 be a sequence of events and let e equal to limit of the supremum a n okay so supremum is what for example if one if they tell you that u n equal to n n is the natural number so this is like one two three n or if they give you that u n equal to four plus n by n so this is actually one plus four by n so the values of thing will be if i put n equal to one so this is five if i put n equal to two this is 3. If I put n equal to 3, so 4 by 3, uh, 1.33, so 2.33. So in that way, are decreasing. So infinity, so the value will be 1. So here, this will be supremum and this will be the infimum. Okay. Now if we proceed here, so summation of n equal to 1 to infinity, probability of a n is less than infinity, then probability of e equal to 1. So so there is a lemma called borel contelli lemma. So what is that lemma is all about. Let me just explain that. So lemma is a kind of thing which is a type of postulate. Okay. So let me just write it. So in probability theory, this lemma is a theorem about a sequence. So the statement says, let if E1, E2 dot 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 be a sequence of events of some probability space, then this chain says that, that if the sum of the, if sum of the probabilities of the events, if it is En is finite, that is summation of probability of en which is exactly in this case an is less than infinity then probability that then probability that infinitely many of them occur is zero okay so infinitely many of them will not be occurring so the probability that limit of supremum of en n tends to infinity is 0 so according to this the probability of a is also 0 and probability e is also 0 so obviously option number d is the very correct answer now we proceed to question number 8 so consider the following statements in respect to the characteristic function of a random variable so there is a random variable with respect to that it always exists 
it is uniformly continuous on R, it is independent of change in the origin and scale and its characteristic function of sum of two random variables is the same as the product of the of their individual characteristic function then the variables are independent so which of the above statements are correct okay so let's have a look one is definitely correct so it always exists this function uniformly continuous is obviously correct but it is not independent of the change of origin and scale it is dependent so third one is wrong fourth one is also correct okay so this is uh, actually option number 1 2 and 4 b is correct